Hello, happy friends. Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to play a Q&A game about animals' its vital functions. Before we start, do you know what animals' vital functions are? The three main functions all animals have to meet to be able to live. Of course, they are nutrition, interaction and reproduction. Now let's head to the first question. Do you know what kind of diet a bear has? A bear can be omnivore, herbivore, or carnivore. Hmm. Exactly. Bears are omnivores. They can eat both plants and meat. Let's learn a little more about them. According to their diet, animals can be herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. Herbivores eat plants and herbs like this giraffe. With herbivore animals, there are two very special ones. There are ruminants. Ruminants, like goats or cows, swallow foods almost without chewing and they store it, they keep it in their stomachs. Then when they want to, they return it back to their mouths, chew and swallow it again. It seems a bit disgusting, but ruminants are like this. Carnivore animals only feed on meat and need to hunt to get it. Lions Sharks or eagles are carnivore animals. Omnivore animals are herbivores and carnivores at the same time. They eat meat and vegetables. Bears and hens are omnivores. And do you know who else? People! Human beings are also omnivores. We can eat chicken or a salad with its lettuce and tomatoes. We know that animals, depending on their diet, can be carnivores, herbivores or omnivores. Let's head to the next question. What do animals use to interact? Their nose and mouth, sound, or their sense organs. Of course, to interact, animals need all of their sense organs. Let's get to know why. Animals need to get to know the environment, to know what's happening around them, and react before it. To do this, they use their sense organs. With their eyes, they can see what's happening around them. Like eagles, who have an excellent eyesight. With their ears, they can hear if an animal with cruel intentions is approaching. With their mouth, they can eat and know if something is good or bad. With their nose, they can detect if there's tasty food around them. With their skin, through touch, they feel tender petting and tickles too. That's so interesting. Now that we know more about the interaction function, let's head to the last question. Do you know which of these animals reproduces through eggs? Meaning, it's oviparous, crocodiles, bats, 
or a mouse. Exactly! Crocodiles reproduce through eggs, like all reptiles. Let's get to know a little more about animal reproduction. The reproduction function lets animals create new animals, ensuring a future life. Animals have two ways of reproducing. Viviparous animals are born directly from their mother's wombs. Look, look! Look at how this calf is born from its mother's womb. All mammals, like these dolphins, all these lions are viviparous. Oviparous animals are born from the eggs their mothers lay. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish and almost all invertebrates are oviparous. But there are some animals that can reproduce in other ways. Earthworms and starfish can reproduce through excision. When a starfish is cut, it divides in two more pieces. Each one of them grows and turns into a new starfish. Nature is incredible, don't you think? I'm sure you've answered all of these questions correctly. But if you haven't, don't worry, because as I always say, the most important thing is that you're always wanting to learn more things and have lots of fun. Goodbye, happy friends. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.